Shields up, Iron Breakers. How's everyone doing today? We're going to be continuing the playthrough of the Iron Breaker build that I've been working on in Dark Souls 1. That was one hell of a save because I didn't really say that sentence as well as I had planned it. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, in the last episode, I had planned to actually go down into um, to go down into New Londo Ruins. But to be completely honest, I kind of feel that my character is probably still a little underpowered to go ahead and do that. So instead of that, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the gargoyles. However, in order to get rid of the gargoyles, we're going to have to go back and go um, and meet up with the Red Cherry Baronique Knight, who is going to wreck us a new one if we're not careful. Or Iron Breakers. We can handle that shit. At least, so I hope. Uh, I also want to save myself in the bonfire that's closer to this zone. Then again, it all depends on how well this fight goes. And it's not going too well for starters. Oh damn, this is not looking good. Come on. What? How did you block that? Come on, I had you dead angled. I had you dead angled. That was a filthy lie was what that was. And again, look at him. This guy is not one of my favorite characters to tangle around with. Because he takes a long ass time to die. And we don't have like a fully upgraded axe yet or a decent amount of strength. So he's just going to be an annoyance for most of the time. Oh, take it! What's the matter now? You're going to try to get some Sunny D in? Oh! See, that's the problem. He hit me once. Once. I'm gonna let him kill me too at this rate. I know you want a drink. Oh shit. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I do not care for that. But anyways, uh, before we actually get too in deep with uh, today's episode, I wanted to mention something real quick. And that is that- oh, you dropped an item. Thank you very much for the Titanite shard, sir. That will come quite in handy when I go to upgrade this bad boy to plus five. But as I was saying, I wanted to mention something uh, real quick before we get the episode, you know, too deep underway. And that is that, if you guys don't remember, I've been mentioning it repeatedly every Wednesday, that uh, Wednesday night is essentially Squadron Night on TGN. We do uh, Squadron Live, which is going to be live on twitch.tv slash TGN. So if you want to find me live playing some Heroes of the Storm, which is pretty much what we usually play in Squadron Live, because it's, it's essentially like a practice session, because on Thursdays is when we actually record Squadron episodes. For those of you who, again, like Heroes of the Storm stuff, uh, that we record the episodes on Thursdays, so Wednesdays is kind of like a practice session type of deal, and we just hang around with the community, and we just try to have a blast as much as possible. So if you guys want to catch me playing some Heroes with Hengist, Pally time, uh, Captain Shack, uh, maybe A Wall, uh, Pure Shield. That is what we're going to be doing tonight. The timing is 10:30 um, p.m. GMT, if I'm not mistaken. But I will try to post that in the description. Uh, it is also going to be announced in the TGN channel, so I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out when exactly we're going to be going live. Uh, but yeah, that is tonight. At least I hope it's tonight because I'm planning on releasing this video today unless YouTube gives me shit as it usually tends to do. Oh, sweet. Two for the price of one. Ironbreaker style, baby. Also, uh, you'll have to forgive me if today I'm just like not at my best because what happened today is that I didn't get any goddamn sleep. Because people kept waking me up, and it was very, very frustrating. First, I was woken up by some telemarketing motherfucker trying to sell me some kind of plan for my phone, and I was like, not interested. And dude, what? Uh, because he was in a really noisy room, and I was like, I am not interested. And he kept screaming, what? What? And I'm just like, motherfucker, you call me early as hell. I work late at night. I just want to, like, break my phone. If it wasn't for my wife, I would have just, like, disconnected that damn phone. I hate my landline because the only thing... I mean, I hate the, the phone on my landline because the only calls I ever get are fucking useless to no end. It's someone, like, trying to sell me something that I clearly don't want to buy. Because what I do want to buy, nobody wants to sell me. 
Ah, it's very, very frustrating times. But, yeah, that has been my morning, so I am a little bit cranky. After that, I, uh, I actually had a, a legitimate call on my, on my cell phone that I had to help out with something. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just been a very, very frustrating <laughs> Uh, so yesterday I made a video that uh, really riled up the mobile community. I'm not going to bother too much addressing that. I've already made a couple of posts on my social streams and whatnot. And it's just people these days can't accept that someone else has a different opinion than they do. I mean, these I say these days as if it's something recent. But yeah, uh, if you guys remember in one of the earlier episodes, we picked up a key that I said this is going to be the key that is going to allow us to free Law Trek. And uh, this is where Lawtrek is. Now, if you don't pick up that key, but you have the master key, it doesn't matter because this door can either be opened by the master key or by the tower cell key, I think is the name of the thing. I don't know. But you pick that up in the, if you guys remember the location, uh, right after we killed the boar, we went down a set of stairs and then up and whatever. After we killed that giant boar, we went through a section that we picked up a key. That key opens this door if you do not have the master key. If you do have the master key, however, you can just open the door regardless. Uh, so if you're meta, uh, I, I keep mentioning the term meta, but basically that means if you're trying to build a character as, uh, there you go, mystery key. If you try to build a character as powerful as you possibly can, you'll want to kill this guy. Uh, early on, you just want to kill him because he drops a really good ring. So he, there's that. And also, he's got some negative consequences that he is going to that he's going to visit upon you for releasing him, which kind of feels like, well, but shouldn't he be a nice guy? Because uh, he kind of like uh, we kind of released him. He should be nice to us. Yada yada yada. You talk with him, and he says, "Oh, I'm going to give you a reward. I'm going to give you a reward, and I will tell you what that reward is in a bit." Actually, he does more than give you rewards. He also gives you tips and intel on some stuff. But before we go down that route, um, so let's see, I killed everything up here, so I should really go for the gargoyles, but before we go for the gargoyles, I want to do something else. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and save myself, like I said, at the other bonfire. Not that I think that I'm going to die at the gargoyles, but I want to do the, the Pokemon, the Pokemon thing. I love doing the Pokemon thing because I hate Pokemon to begin with, but I, I really find it amusing for this particular fight, for the Gargoyles fight, to just summon both Lawtrek and Solaire and just let them wreak havoc on the Gargoyles. Wait, do I have to visit Lawtrek? I do, don't I? I have to visit Lawtrek. Oh! God damn. That guy's gotta be so annoying. But regardless of having to visit Lawtrek or not, I want to spend my humanity in this bonfire. Because this bonfire is actually pretty useful, and if we're going to um, if we're going to fix our hollowing issue right here, we want to do it at this bonfire so that we can kindle it. Because this is going to become our main bonfire, unfortunately. Now let's get some strength because we're going to need some strength as well. We're going to need at least thirty-six strength because I think I might be getting um I think I know which shield I'm going to get, and that's not going to be Havel's. Uh, it's not gonna be Havels, 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 whatever. It's not gonna be Havels because I, like I said, I don't like the way Havels looks. But I think I know which one I'm gonna get. Now, the other thing that I want to do is, yeah, reverse hollowing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Gotta be careful about reverse hollowing because I remember getting stuck in friggin' bonfires if I do reverse hollowing way too fast with the 60 FPS mod, so. Gotta be careful about that stuff. I don't remember what exactly caused it, but I do remember that. Uh, so let's go ahead and kindle this bad boy. Gives us 10 Estus flasks. And now we're gonna run through because I need to meet up with um, Lawtrek so that he gives us his, um, so that he gives us his, what do you call it? He gives us his reward. Like I said, I'm sleep deprived today. Don't, don't ask too much of me. Uh, so that he gives us his reward, and that will enable us to summon him for the boss fight. If you guys were never able to summon Lawtrek for the Gargoyles boss fight, probably means you haven't talked with him after you released him, which is what you need to do. So after you release him, we're going to skip this bad boy. we got to be careful not to allow him to hit us in the back. I keep forgetting that I'm actually uh, medium rolling, which is really bad. 
because I'm always used to fast rolling. But you need to talk with Lawtrek after you release him and that enables you to summon him for the boss and it also gives you a minor reward which is uh, pretty useful if you want to join the um, Warriors of Sunlight Covenant, uh, also known as the Sun Bros, because the, 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 the thing he's going to give you is the currency to level up that particular... Level up that particular covenant. So let's go ahead and visit good old Lawtrek here. Here you go. Now, if you want to kill Lawtrek real easy, easiest way to do it is just kick him from here. Because if you keep kicking him, eventually he'll like go through here and he will fall down to his death. And then you just um, exit the game and load again and all the items that he would drop will be here. So, ah, hello there. I Here's your reward, Sunlight Metal. If you keep talking with him, I know that eventually he will also give you intel. Uh, I think you got you have to kill a Kappa Demon before he gives you intel. But yeah, Lawtrek is on a mission, and you guys will see what Lawtrek's mission is. Lawtrek is just one of those scumbags, is what he is. Anyway, now that we've spoken with Lawtrek and we are in a human form, we should be able to go ahead and um, summon him for the boss fight. Main challenge being now to survive until we actually get to the boss fight. Because making the run to the gargoyles with that big chunky bastard in the way is quite the pain. It's quite the pain. It's actually very, uh, it's very frustrating for, for someone who's doing a, a cherry playthrough and is doing the whole completionist thing like I am, like going all over the place doing all kinds of different things. Because these motherfuckers don't despawn, ever. They're just always here, annoying the crap out of you. Oh crap, we also have this Balder Knight, I forgot he was here. Crap, Balder, you need to let me through now. And you need to go ahead and die real fast. Cause I ain't got time to deal with your shit. Ooh, that hurts! Holy crap, how far is he gonna chase me? Uh, I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Thank you. Let me go through. Let me go through. Oh my god, I should not be doing this with that red chunky bastard coming after me. I don't think he fits through the door though, so I think we're pretty safe. Now you can actually camp this this uh, staircase here. Staircase? Ladder. You can actually camp this ladder because these hollows are going to come up after you. What? That was bullshit. La 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 la. That was uh, bad. That was not what I wanted to do at all. Are you quite done? Jesus! I've forgotten just how many of these fuckers there were. Another one still! Die already! Wow, one more. I'm just gonna make myself a nice little mound of corpses. Are we quite done yet? Or do you have any anyone else that wants to come up here and get killed? Jesus Christ. I've forgotten just how many of those fuckers there were. <laughs> so anyway, this is where he is. Uh, you'll notice this is the final stair, uh, the final ladder before the boss. Let's go ahead and summon his ass. Surprised I haven't gotten invaded yet. I wonder if Steamworks is working properly or what the deal is. I am playing online, which you guys should be able to see a couple of messages. Also, you might hear a little bit of wheezing. It's, uh, it's my allergies in the morning and whatnot. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get Night Solar up in here as well. Come on, Lawtrek. Atta boy. So this is what I like to call the Pokemon battle on the Gargoyles. Because basically you summon your two Pokemons, Night Solar and Night Lawtrek, and you let them do battle for you. Because you just uh, you just walk right in here. You're going to have the cinematic for the boss fight and all that. It's unusual. Oh look, you could even see the, the boss's health bar before we, we got there. Oh man, I remember this boss fight the very first time I did it. I was scared shitless because of the um, the Demon Souls boss fight. There was two of these guys. I mean, but they're considerably easier in Dark Souls 1 than they were in Demon Souls. I don't remember the actual name of the boss in Demon Souls, but there was also like two gargoyle looking things. It was very, very annoying. Wow, he seems to be somewhat frustrated and upset. 
Now look here, I don't want no part of this. I'm just gonna let uh, Lawtrek and Solaire deal with me. Look at him. Lawtrek is a beast when it comes to deal damage to these two gargoyles. Just look at him. Get in there, Lawtrek. Kick some ass. I wonder if they buffed Solaire, because Solaire was pretty weak sauce uh, in this boss fight when compared to Lawtrek. Just look at how friggin' tanky Lawtrek is. Look at that. And we got the Gargoyle Tail Axe. Very good job, Night Lawtrek, getting the tail chop right there. Looks like both Gargoyles are still alive, though. Wow, they can't even touch these two dudes right now. Well, they're dealing some damage on Solaire. Lawtrek, what are you doing, you cowardly bastard? Get in there. Get in there and fight. Fuck. Slacking Lawtrek, come on. Look at him trying to block with his parrying dagger. That's actually a move a move that is not a bit Oh shit, Solaire's gonna die. Look, you can't kill Solaire, okay? I'm gonna block for Solaire. Run, Solaire! I don't want you to die! I'll block for you, Solaire! <laughs> I'm just sitting here blocking. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Solaire? <laughs> Threw a lightning spear to nowhere. Get him, Solaire. <laughs> I'll block for you, bro. <laughs> I, always, I always have way too much fun with some of these boss fights. I have way too much fun. And then along comes small and stick to spoil all my fun. But yeah, this fight is pretty fun if you do it like that. At least I personally think it's funny. Uh, I don't ever think that there's been items back here. But for some reason, this one time, this this particular playthrough, I just got cursed. I was like, hmm, wonder if there's something back there. Nope. So, the very first uh, bell that you're going to be ringing, which if you talk to the dude that, uh, you guys will have noticed there's a dude near Firelink Shrine. If you talk to him, he's going to tell you, oh, you got to ring the bells of awakening. That's what you got to do. You got to ring the bells of awakening. This is the very first bell of awakening that you should ring, even though if you take the master key, you can actually take a different route. Actually, even if you don't take the master key, I think you can still take a different route, can't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can take a different route, even if you don't take the Master Key, you're able to ring the second bell first, if that is something that you want to do. But we're going to ring the first bell. This is typically the first bell most players will ring. Sup, Lord Ran? Are you ready to rock? Because the Iron Break is here. Ah. <sighs> So there is Sen's Fortress, which uh, will eventually open up once we ring the second Bell of Awakening. Let's go ahead and slide on down. Still kind of weird for me to get used to the mechanics of slide down to Dark Souls 1, because Dark Souls 2 actually does a better job of that. And then we have... Uh, is this Oswald? I think he's called Oswald, right? Greetings! Greetings! Now, the reason you want to talk to this guy is because he's got the best gesture in the game. It's, it's mostly why I want to talk to him. The other thing you might want to buy off of him, if you have problems, is you might want to get Purging Stone, because that will break curses. If you ever become cursed, you can come over here and buy a Purging Stone. So long as you have 3,000 souls, uh, you can also get a couple of Resistance Rings, namely Blood Bite and Poison Bite. And I think, if I remember correctly, he's the only boss that actually drops blood bite not sure about poison bite boss no, drops. he's the only npc that you can buy blood bite ring from but i'm not entirely sure because like i said it's been a long time i remember every time that i want to make like um, a build that involves the life hunt scythe which is a build uh, which is a scythe that essentially builds up bleeding on you i always come to him to buy the ring no slide down dude slide down slide on down there so, uh, where are we going to go to now, I wonder? So, below us, we're going to have that red cherry bastard who will want to uh, erase our very existence. So, we can go to the forest. Now, I do know that there's an item there. The reason I'm not picking up that item is because if you pick up that item, that is going to trigger an event that I do not wish to trigger just yet. We're going to delay that event as much as we possibly can. So here's the chunky bastard. Should I kill him again? Should I ignore him? I think I should ignore him and hit the forest. Hit the forest though. Do I want to hit the forest? Where will I get 
upgrade materials? Would it be the forest or the sewers? I think I'll, I think I'll get more upgrade materials if I go to the depths. So we're going to hit the depths instead. And how are we going to get there? I think it's going to be fun. We're going to make a run for it. We're going on a race. We're going on a race that might go terribly wrong if we're not careful, but I think we might just live through this. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get horribly mangled and killed, but at least it will be entertaining. Now, won't it? Let's go ahead and skip this Balder Knight. You don't really care about your Balder Knight affairs. The gate is open, because I left it open. Uh, I hope that guy doesn't close the gate, because I want to keep that gate open, okay? Tell me you're not going to go close the gate. Time those dodges on the crossbow bolts. Ooh, bad memories of th something that happened here. I, d I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. Bad memories of something that happened back there. Let's go ahead. Rest on this bonfire because I'm pretty sure we're gonna die here. I don't think the dragon's. Yeah, the dragon's not here. The dragon's gonna spawn. He's gonna kill everyone, and it's not gonna be a pretty sight. Here he comes. Here he comes. Check it out, boys. Y'all gonna die. What did I tell you? I even warned them. But if I hadn't warned them, it'd be something. Now he's gonna flame breath me in the ass. Maybe not. Maybe he won't flame breath me in the ass. Good stuff, good stuff. And this is where we wanna go. We wanna go to the basement. Basement. <coughs> the basement. So you get this key. Uh, the key to the basement. You get it... Uh, past the gate, if you remember, after we killed, in the place that we killed the boar, it seems that the boar is like, it's got like a lot of keys around it, so, in the place where we killed the boar, right after that gate, there was like a corpse there, we picked up a key there, I'm not sure if you guys noticed that in a previous episode, but that is the key that opens up the basement. Now, once you get to the basement, you want to open up another shortcut, that's, that's the one thing, well, it's not the one thing, I mean, it's got a lot of more things, but that's one of the things that a lot of players complaint about Dark Souls 2 is that the levels aren't as intric intricately interweaved as in Dark Souls 1. Because, I mean, just look at this. This is a shortcut that leads back to the Undead Bird. And that's the, the that's one of the main things about Dark Souls that makes it so exceptional is its awesome friggin' level design. Because, I mean, we just went all the way across through all these different paths and shit. And we ended up in a place that we had already been. You guys are like, that's not a good thing. You're wrong. That's a great thing. It's got tons and tons of shortcuts. It goes around like a fucking maze. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can't believe someone actually hit me while I was sitting down. That's just that's just not right. Okay, so something that I've noticed is that I forgot that I wanted to buy some stuff off of Andre. That'll be fine, because what we'll do now is we'll just level up. We need to level up strength. I want to take strength all the way up to 36, which is what we'll need. After which, we will, um, we, don't know, we no longer need to level up strength for a long while, so we will focus on vitality and endurance. Now, you don't have to, in order to make this build, and if you want to do the uh, Iron Golem Axe like I, like I do, you don't necessarily have to, um, you don't necessarily have to level up the strength just yet, because we're still a long ways away of getting our weapon is just something that I like doing. I like getting like the requirements for my weapons as early as I possibly can. Something that I've noticed is that I'm human, so I will be able to summon people, but I don't think there's any NPCs that you can summon. I would, however, like to put down... Oh, you scumbag! No! Damn it. Almost blocked that. I would like to do some jolly co-op if that is an option, but I'm not sure if that is going to be an option or not. Well, let's get down here and we have one of the enemies that I hate the most. The friggin' dogs. I hate these dogs. I hate them with a passion. I hate them with the fire of a thousand suns! I'm praising sun, by the way. But, uh... Let's go ahead and walk through here. Uh, in case you guys are wondering if you die on that well, I don't think you die on that well. I'm pretty sure that me and Pally time at some point, we fooled around with this, and I don't think... I think that... Uh, you actually don't fall down when you hit there, but I don't feel like testing that right now. <laughs> but I don't think you die in that well. Somebody, please let me out of here. And I'm like, oh, somebody, there's somebody in there. That is the me. key, and I, I, I kind of, I have like all of these keys in my I'm head finished. due to the amount of times I've played happened. Dark Souls. 
but uh, this key is the key that we bought from the undead merchant very early on. I think even in the first episode, maybe. Uh, we bought a key from the undead merchant, which was the residence key. And that enables us to free this dude. Also, he drops his armor for us, so if you want to look like friggin' Great. Harry Potter... You opened the door for me. You opened the Thank door you. for me, I'm saved. Briggs of Vinheim, yada yada yada. So this is the dude you want to talk to if you want to learn magic and stuff. This is one of the very first magic trainers. So he's going to meet you back in Firelink Shrine after you release him. So if you're a mage and you want to get as many spells as you possibly can, you probably want to go ahead and buy that residence key and free this dude right here. Now, back there, there's either a humanity or twin humanities, and there's a, an item that I always like getting. Shit. Gotta be careful with these flame, these torch wielding hollows. They're very annoying. Stop that, you bitch. Now, I also am curious, what is the stability on some of, the, on some of our shields here? 55, 51, 56, just like I thought. I knew this guy would have more stability. So I might actually switch things up to the hollow shield when we get to the Capra Demon. Because even though it's only plus one stability, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But it's still pretty useful when you go into the Capra Demon to have uh, your highest stability shield with you. Capra Demon being a boss that we'll fight in a couple of minutes here. Hey, let's see if we can actually do uh, boss fights in an episode of Dark Souls. Because I've been doing so many episodes where I just don't fight a single boss. <laughs> Because I've been doing all this exploration and stuff. I mean, well, we did kill uh, the gargoyles on this on this episode, so maybe we'll kill the Capernaum as well. Or maybe we'll fail terribly and uh, we will just be left feeling bad about our performance. But then again, I'm going to just go ahead and blame it all on sleep deprivation. Oh, you sh- Oh, you fucking dog. You put you down like a dog. This, yes, exactly. There you go. Okay, now you want to be real careful about that guy, because that guy... Oh, huh, I never noticed that there was a pathway back here. Wouldn't be cool if you would actually be able to go outside there, but... That guy is going to be very annoying, because the moment... Oh, wait, before we pass, we can probably kill... I think it's this guy that we can kill, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, you chill the fuck out, because I know that you're going to, like, backstab me and stuff, so you don't... Oh, look, that right there, that is his parry pose. So if you attack him while he's doing that, you're going to get your ass parried. It's not going to be fun at all. So be careful about that. Get punted around like a bitch, too. Uh, so you can usually kill this guy, I think. But maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's the other one. I know you can kill one of them. Maybe not with the axe, though. Huh. Ah! In the face, bitch! I wonder if I can kill this one, too. Oh, there you go. Takes care of those two, leaving only one. Now, the reason you want to kill those two is because this is an ambush. So when you get to this point, all the three doors open, all the three doors, or th the three doors will open and these guys will come out and try to hunt you and you will be caught off guard because you would be going through here. Two of them would come from behind. But since we took care of them, oh, look at him, look at him. And now this item right here, the mail breaker, those of you who watch Epic Name Bro, which probably be a lot of you guys, will know that that is the item that uh, Epic Name Bro uses to stay up to date on how many new game pluses he's done. Oh, that was close. I've forgotten about you, you sneaky prick. Look at the damage he dealt. It's ridiculous. Sneaky bastard. <clears throat> Uh, me personally, I use uh, souls that I tend not to use on a build as a, a way to count because I tend to kill all the bosses in the game. So I usually have like tons and tons of boss souls. So I just see which boss soul do I have the most of. That's the new game plus that I'm. Come on. I don't want to fight in a location where I'm going to have to fight all three of you at once. That's just a terrible idea. Atta boy. Atta boy. Lashed up. It seems that the red phantoms have like, um, I was gonna say they have like armor piercing, but in reality, I think the red phantoms are adjusted to the difficulty of New Game Plus, which is why they deal so much damage. Because you're not supposed to be grave lorded in normal game. 
Although, to be honest, it doesn't really increase the challenge that much if you know what you're doing. But it does keep the game a little bit fresher without necessarily completely breaking the AI by using the, um, the aggression mod. Which I have said many a times, I'm not a fan of the aggression mod. So, something that you can do to minimize your risk here is you can actually open up a shortcut. Yes! Another shortcut! There's shortcuts for days in Dark Souls 1, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up another shortcut before we move on. Um, because that, that fog wall that we just went through is a boss fight. That is the Capra Demon boss fight. You see that guy over there? He looks These, these headpieces remind me of Jawas from Star Wars. But anyways, let's go ahead. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought there. If you really want to make sure that you take as least as least risks as you possibly can, you want to open up this shortcut before you face the Capra Demon because it's uh, it's going to really shorten your trip to the boss, and you're not going to have to run through all of those um, all of those thief dudes, hollow thieves, I think is what they're called. So this dude, but if you go all the way to the back here. You're also going to gain access to a new vendor, which is this one. She sells mosses and stuff, uh, as well as, uh, oh, actually, I want to get started on using charcoal. That'd be really cool. Give me a, uh, I'm going to use one of those for Capra. But the reason I want to get started on that is because that is like an alternative, since we're doing like someone who is not casting magic at all. You can use the charcoal pine resins and whatnot to... You know, to beat the crap out of bosses, as well as, you know, just the resins in general, which add uh, additional damage to your weapon. So you can play off of the, um, off of the elemental weaknesses of each boss, if you happen to know them. I'm not sure, excuse me, I'm not sure if the Capra Demon is actually weak to fire or not, but it's just going to be an additional damage. So this is the shortcut. You guys remember that rat right there? You should be familiar with what this tunnel is. This is the first tunnel that you come across in the game. This will lead up to the uh, Undead Burg, and that over there leads back to the Firelink Shrine. So if you come back from the Firelink Shrine, it is actually a lot faster than the place that we were at. And um, that way, if you die to the Capra Demon, which the very first time that you're playing Dark Souls, you will most likely die to the Capra Demon. Uh, that way you can go ahead and run back from the Firelink Shrine instead. You can just run back to Firelink Shrine and save yourself there. On top of that, you will have more Estus Flasks because you got 10 Estus Flasks at the, um, at the Firelink Shrine. And all you have to kill before you get to the boss are these two dudes and maybe a dog, I think. There might be a dog next to the door or something. And that is all you need to kill to get yourself another boss attempt. Or if you're really in a hurry, you can even just run past them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there should be like a dog or maybe even two of them. Uh, here guarding the door now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna heal myself back at the full be wary of blocking I'm, I'm wondering I don't know if the, yeah these are def some of these have to be player messages need humanity but I'm, I'm wondering why I haven't been summoned once I mean I, I've noticed that a lot of the community has kind of like rallied back onto Dark Souls 1 now that it's um, with Steam, I wonder if there's some issues with the multiplayer, because I haven't looked that up at all, to be completely honest. But yeah, you definitely need to be able to block, which is why we're going to be switching up to the Hollow Soldier Shield, which is better at blocking. It's got more stability. And to be honest, it actually looks really good in high def. looks really sweet in 1080p. It doesn't look that great in 720p on the consoles, <laughs> but uh, it definitely looks fucking sweet in 1080p. On PC, 60 FPS, all that good stuff. PC Master Race, definitely not me. I, I would, I would never like support that hashtag. Sorry, sorry, boys, uh, but that's just not my thing. So let's go ahead, traverse through the white light. I'm hesitant because I always like fuck it up somehow with the Capra Demon and die really in a really stupid way. Here comes the Capra Demon, first attack. Boom! See the dog burned some of my stamina. Uh, what you want to do to guarantee success is you want to run up here, run up to this corner. I don't really consider this to be an exploit because I did it the very first time I fought against the Capra Demon. And it's never really been patched or anything. Whoa, 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 did I kill both of them? Sweet. Crap! 
You gotta be really careful about this though, because the Capra Demon will jump from all the way over there and still hit you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wanted to use something. Let's switch this. Here we go. Oh yeah. What you know about that pine coal resin? Oh crap, I messed up. I wanted to do a plunging and I completely messed it up. I hit the plunging there, I think. At least I'd like to think so. But I'm not entirely sure. Come on, Capra. Give me an opening here. Oh, the damage is real. The plunging is real. Come on, Capra, you fuck. Oh, that is a lot of stamina drainage. Oh, I love the animations on the charcoal pine resin. I, I haven't really used it all that much, if I'm being really honest. But really like it. Ironbreaker with a flaming weapon. Fuck yeah. Come on, Capra. Come on, boy. What you got? Burn you down. Oh wow, it ends really fast though. Ooh, I don't know how he missed that one. <laughs> oh, and time for you to go, Capra Demon. Time for you to go. Then we get to keep the depths. Which gives us access to a new area. And we only have two Estus flasks remaining. Now here. If you want to be really careful, you want to go back at this point. And to be honest, we are going to go... Well, we can't really go back because... Um, we can't really go back because we're saved in a bonfire that I don't want to go to. But we are going to run back to the Firelink Shrine, which is still the center point of where we're headed. Uh, and I don't think that... Um, I don't think that Firelink Shrine has been extinguished yet. Because that is going to be a thing that happens. For those of you who don't know what's going to happen. Because I did let Lawtrek live. He's going to do something bad. He's going to do something real bad. That scumbag Lawtrek is going to sabotage our playthrough. But that's going to be fine. Because we could have killed him any time we wanted. To, but we chose not to. We chose not to kill poor old Lawtrek. So I'm going to run back to the Firelink Shrine. It seems that I'm ending most of the episodes back at Firelink Shrine. Which shows you just how well built the game is. You go somewhere, then you can go back to Firelink Shrine. But you don't necessarily have to do it like so you can keep advancing forward. I'm just doing things almost in a modular way. Which, like I said, this is going to be somewhat of a uh, different type of playthrough. For starters, let's go ahead. We need, to, we need to do it. You guys need to know what needs to happen. This is Sparta. And you're gone. Wait, wait, wait. What do you want? Actually, I need to parry this guy. This guy needs to be parried. I wanted to still kick him even after pairing him, but I triggered the repost animation. Repost, repost? I always, I always like mix that. It's probably repost. Post would be the way to say it, I think. So here's Griggs. Griggs will sell you spells and all kinds of other things that we don't want because uh, we're dwarves and all that. Um, and yeah, so in the next episode, we're gonna go to the depths. One of you fuckers follow me? Yeah. One of you. Next episode, we're going to go to the depths, but in between episodes, I might hit up uh, Andre. I'm going to buy some stuff, or no, I should do it in the episode so that you guys see the stuff that I'm going to be buying off of Andre and whatnot. But that is definitely going to be it for this episode. As per usual, leave me all the comments, feedback, all the kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.